Are you welcome to this episode of Shift? I'm your host, Palmonia Gordon. Thank you for joining me. Today, I have a question. Has social media turned us into hypocrites? Yeah, I said it. I am asking the question, Palmonia Gordon, author, speaker, coach, mom, background in corporate America, picked up my back to go to work one day and the thought of going postal made sense. And today I just wanted to just chat with you honestly about social media and the impact it, it's having on us. Some of you may not be on social media, but WhatsApp is a form of social media. YouTube is a form of social media. The telephone is a form of social media. Any device basically by which you can communicate with someone where they can share a message, where you can share a text, where you can share an email, it's social media. I'm thinking about Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, you know, Snapchat, all the others that are out there. And I'm wondering how much of a hypocrite are we becoming, a hypocritical society, that when there is a post by a friend or someone that we know and we look at it, it we may not really like it, but sometimes we press like. And yeah, I'm, I'm guilty. I've, I've done it. A part of you, I, I think for me, I know when I've done it, I may look at how many people have already liked the picture and I kind of like, oh, you know, let me, let me help boost their like, their rating because a lot of social media goes off rating how much people like your posts and stuff and then that allows you to rank up. The challenge is there's so many posts that are going out by the second, it's hard to keep track or keep up or see all of them. So how many times have you gone ahead, like someone post when you didn't really like it, like it, or you may have thought, hmm, did they really see what it is that they have, have here, whether it's a picture. I know I have actually messaged people and says, Hey, you know, give me a call. Or I have suggested to picture. I know there's this guy, I think he's in Washington state. And I said to him, you know what, push some hashtags. So sometimes being a hypocrite is not all bad. It's what you do with what we know or what we recognize if we take the time. And I know I'm guilty of not correcting, but hopefully to help and to guide. Because if I'm walking outside and my, my dress is up, in my underwear or something, it would really be nice for somebody to say, um, excuse me, ma'am, you may want to pull your dress down. I think I was at an event recently and this lady, we were in the washroom and she came out, thank God we were all there. And you know, it's like, hey, your dress is not down properly. And social media can have that effect where, you know, I may be posting something and I feel good about it and my spin on it, but it might not necessarily be coming across the same way. And that's the challenge I have with texting. When, when I text someone or I send a text, the thought process that I have in my mind and my head may not be what the person receives. And sometimes it can be a chance. So if, if I text and we go back or forth two or three times, I'm going to pick up the phone and call because it's a waste of time. Me spending more time trying to explain as opposed to this is what I mean, or this is what is happening, or this is what it should be, or this is what I meant for you to get. So if you have friends on social media, and they have a post that you're not sure what it is they're saying. Inbox them, send them a message. Hey, I'm not so sure I understand your post or what it means. You know, help them to tweak it. Help them to tweak it. Um, WhatsApp is another great message. And I, I believe what's happening with social media, the hypocrisy will live and thrive because 
as you get to understand it more, we realize that people can actually tell whether or not you've seen or watched their message. I remember I was in this training in uh, London, Ontario, and this young lady, she goes, oh, I can see who look at my post and, I, and you know, you didn't even like it. And it's like, oh, okay. So, so now you're thinking, oh my God, I, I've been caught with my pants down. So the person knows whether or not I have seen their message and whether or not I choose to like it. And WhatsApp, I think, has that thing because it was only, I think it was earlier this year only, I really pretty new to social media. I'm just obedient in what my coach tells me to do. And it makes me look like, oh my gosh, she's just killing social media. So it was only recently I found out that on WhatsApp, when someone actually reads the message, then I get, when if I look at that message, I will see the check mark that lets me know the person has seen the message. But the challenge that I, something else I've started to discover since I started doing Shift, which is my YouTube channel, which I'm talking to, broadcasting to you from now, is if it goes out to someone on WhatsApp, they'll click on it on WhatsApp to get the check mark but they don't really watch the video. And, you know, I, I thought about that and I, I kind of smile because when I, when I, when I get into my zone and I, I get obedient and I coach or train and teach and mentor and just show love, I'm not so much doing it for the popularity. There's a part of me that believes and know that there's at least one person that needs to hear what it is that I have to say and that that one person will get it and will receive it. So when the rest of us fall into, um, I'm not gonna say be a hypocrite in that sense because there's time restraint, there's so many things that are happening and, and that too is what makes us hypocrite because sometimes we don't read the message. Okay, let me just like and, and, and move on. There's a story of a lady that went to the uh, beauty parlor to get her hair done and while she's having her hair washed and she's under the, the washing machine, I think she, I think the guy was washing her hair. So the pipe is running, which means you're not hearing so well. And, you know, the guy is laughing. And when the lady got up, she goes, you know, what's so funny? I said, my husband died. <gasps> oh, my God. So sometimes social media can put us in those sticky moments. I think what I would encourage us to do is to stay true to you. When you have the time to look at something, look at it. Okay, because for me personally, as your friend, I'd love for you to say to me, Palmonia, no, that, that message wasn't you. That message doesn't, I, I have messages sometimes that they're like, there's this one message I got recently with women who parts of their bodies were painted and then they posed like shoe, like a, a, a big shoe. And I thought, man, that, that looked nice. But the woman breasts were bare, right? Half was painted, the other half wasn't. You could see, and I'm thinking, mm, I don't know, right? Plus, we know Facebook flogs some of those as, you know, having nudity or, you know, abuse or whatever terminologies that they look for. So just, I'm encouraged us to, encouraging us to not be hypocritical in what we do, what we share, what we say, but to be our brother's keeper in that sense and to ensure that the messages that we are sending forward, especially as Shift Nation, is one of hope, one of encouragement, one that is different, that stands out, that somebody must wonder, hmm, I wonder if she's a part of this shift. That is happening and remember shift is simply helping individuals to find their true passion their true purpose and their true talents and we do it through sharing our thoughts our stories by being together 
and just like the second hand on the clock that takes 60 tiny moves we are encouraged to take 60 tiny moves which becomes one minute and then 60 minute becomes an hour and we keep doing that over and over again until we get to our desired place take care keep shifting don't be a hypocrite on social media tell the truth tell it in love don't tell it in public either on the person's page inbox them send them a message on messenger pm them say hey you know what uh i don't know and guess what we all know that everybody's not at the same growth and maturity where you know everywhere we're not all at the same place so someone may take that as an offense if you know grand cardone and you love grand cardone he loves when you criticize him because he believes that's a part of growing in business and getting successful so it's not a bad thing if someone sends you a message just say thank you yay i'm on the right path love you